Karula's no longer alone for two reasons. One, the cub is there. Um, one, Tingana's just arrived. Yeah, standing by. Okay. Let's reposition. The little cub is there. I think Tingana's just arrived. There he is. Having a solid yeah, sniff around. Okay. Let's go around. Let's reposition. I'm going to move out of the space between Karula and her cubs. He's flaming grimacing for us. There's... Where's Karula? Is that Karula there? There's two of them. No, no, I mean... Is Shadow with him? Yeah. Okay, so her cubs are just here. That's why she was calling. I'm not sure if that is Karula or Shadow. Just hold on one moment. We'll establish it now. This is exactly what I was expecting. I just didn't expect it to happen so soon. He's going to go up the tree. Where's Karula? She's calling for her cubs. Tingana's there, Karula's to the right, and she's chuffing for her babies, making sure that they're safe. Where is Shadow? Is she here? There's Shadow. There she is. Oh, sorry, Tingana's gone up the tree. He's going to go and steal from Karula's carcass. Has... Has Karula realized that Shadow is on her way? This is awesome. This is what we were waiting for. Up goes Tingana into the tree. A difficult spot for a leopard that weighs as much as he does. And I barely know which way to look. Karula was chuffing for her cubs a moment ago, but I don't think she's realized that Shadow is behind Tingana. Slowly making her way forward. Tingana balance, balancing precariously in a tree that was not built for a leopard of his size and stature. It's all fine and well being dainty Karula or her little cubs. And just like that. I see her. Thanks, Ephraim. Here comes Shadow here. And just like that, Karula has potentially lost the best access to her hard-won meal. Shadow's just going to pop through this gap here. This is incredible. Where is she now? She's just coming. I can see her, but Dave can't. I don't want to reposition just yet. I want to see how this situation plays out. Let's go back towards... Oh, here she comes. Sorry, Dave. There she goes. Has Karula realized? There's Shadow slinking around the back. making her way towards the kill. I don't know where the cubs are. We saw one of them earlier, and we saw Karula chuffing to them. But did she chuff a warning? Now, before we get too nervous or too overexcited, just bear in mind that Shadow is Karula's daughter. We spoke about sharing kills before. So there's not a major threat to Karula or her cubs in this scenario. It's just a fascinating situation. His shadow looking slightly with her nose out of joint. There's Karula watching the goings on with resignation. And then Tingana has planted himself up in the tree and is tucking into Karula's dinner. Oh, hold on. Sorry, Dave, I know I'm bouncing us all the way back. Look, Karula's spotted shadow. You can see it in her body language. Thoroughly unimpressed. We've seen
seen these two wonderful ladies have disagreements before. Look at, look at Karula. Look how puffed up she is. She's heading her off. That shadow is nobody's fool. He's not going to mess with mom. She was heading her off. That was the direction that her cubs are in. And she's immediately blocking her. Doing what we saw Shadow do with Sindile when he first encountered her. Okay, we're going to reposition a moment just to give you an idea of what's happening. Oh, Shadow's on the run. Off she goes, pursued by Karula. Oh, and there she goes. Disappearing around the side of the termite mound. Oh, and on that situation, and Tingana's just nearly fallen out of the tree. It's just it's the most incredible scene. The male leopard is far more interested in filling his stomach than with the ne negotiations of the various leopards. Ephraim tells me that Shadow is still running to the west. Sh Tingana's up in the tree. Karula is chasing Shadow away. And what an amazing situation of dynamics here at play. A mother, a daughter, two young cubs that we can't see at the moment, and one big male who's far interested in the food. Okay, we're going to turn on, we're going to try and catch up with Karula and Shadow. I know this is an awesome scene with Tingana up in the tree. There are also other vehicles wanting to come and see this extraordinary scene, but for now we are absolutely fine. It might split into two sightings again. We're going to climb on this termite mound. Hold on, Dave. This has been incredible. This is what I was waiting for. I was so desperate not to leave. I'd... Hello. Uh, Ephraim, have you still got visual? Yeah, Jimmy, the other one is heading more west. This is the most Catalan west through this phase of this junction. Copy, thanks. Jim, yeah, I'm just behind you. Make your way in text. I'll see if I can follow up on Shadow and Karula. I uh, did see him a Pimpans briefly off to the south, so I'm going to pull out of the sighting so you can go in. Sorry, everybody, we've got to make space for the other vehicles as well. Taxon has just arrived. And where did Shadow and Karula go? We've all got to keep our eyes peeled. What an incredible way that this afternoon has played out. And Wild Earth Girlie has said it's not even Catter Day this afternoon. What an extraordinary day. Five different leopards. And one sighting. Negative tax. Um, Tingana's up in the tree with a kill. Uh, the cubs were southeast of that position. And then Krula and Shadow were running this way. Absolutely. This is incredible. It's not Cat a Day. There you go, Dave. I knew there was a there was a reason. Something was telling me that something was going to happen. Okay, let's just. I don't think they're going to go too far. Karula's cubs are still there. She's not going to want to run too far away, but Shadow might have, and Shadow could have jumped this road in one stride if she was desperate to get away. Let's just stop here for a moment. I'm sorry, I have to listen to the game drive comms as well, just to hear. I think those two might have disappeared, but I doubt Karula's going to be gone for long. Her cubs are there, her kill is there, her man is there, if you want to get more specific than that. Absolutely extraordinary. Can't believe it. 
That was definitely not what I was expecting. I wonder how long Tingana knew that she was there. Shadow's gone, Karula's coming back. Hold on, everybody. Copy, thanks. Are you happy for me to come and join you at the sighting? Yeah, sure, you're welcome. Thanks, Tex. Where is she gone? anything. Hold on one moment. You don't reverse into me, please. <laughs> and Kerry, while we go and try and figure out exactly where Karula has gone following behind Taxus, I'm being silly. This is silly. Let's go back to the... Oh, there they go. Oh, there they are. Right there. I thought I was being silly, but I'm not. They're both here. Or at least one of them's here. Now, Kerry, you were wondering, you know why Tingana followed or came towards Karula, but why did Shadow join in? And the answer is because that is the imperative of a female leopard in estrus. She follows the male. And that's why we so often, when we've got mating leopards, I'm just going to keep a little bit of distance. Shadow's going to be unsettled. She's going to be upset. Let's just stop. She's going to be uncomfortable. There's Karula. She's behind Taxon's vehicle and she's growling fiercely. You can see Shadow's dripping with saliva, which is very, very typical of a leopard that is stressed and unhappy. So, Kerry, it's her imperative to follow the male leopard. She, her biology tells her to mate, and her biology also tells her... There you go, she's relieving herself, also another sign of stress. Her biology tells her that she's got to stay no matter where the male goes, which is why we've had Tingana bring Tundi into Karula's territory, Quetile, Shadow. It's when territorial boundaries don't matter. And she's also learned that the male will be often quite protective over a female in estrus that he's mating with. So she's was sort of kind of relying on Tingana to keep her safe. And Karula's unlikely to go for Shadow in a, in a very violent way. But it is an incredible interaction. She immediately stepped in to chase Shadow away from where her cubs are. But now Shadow's, Shadow's instinct is taking her straight back towards the male. And where is Garula? She's here somewhere. I can hear her. And Monique in London, yes, absolutely. Typically a male leopard would be more of a threat. However, this, because Tingana is, has mated... Oh, look, she's going she's gonna to mark her territory. No. I was going to be very surprised if she'd done that. So Monique, typically yes, a male is a male leopard is one of the biggest killers of leopard cubs of any other. Okay, let's go around. Sorry, guys, of any leopard cubs than any other predator. However, in this situation, leopards are more territorial with other females. There's Karula. Just a spotted cat hiding away. Where are her cubs, I wonder? Can you see her at all there, Dave? I'm going to go back towards Tingana. This is so hard to know where to go. She's just... There we go, I'll be able to show you here. I'll quickly show you. There she's up. Did I get Shadow and Karula mixed up? I don't think so. But it's possible. This other female is moving off. So Monique, she's more threatened by Shadow because Shadow is a female. 
in her territory and it's basically natural instinct they're more territorial towards females and not at all towards males she's gonna mark her territory so a male leopard's territory as as I know you know encompasses that of several different females so she knows Tingana she's not bothered but shadow is now in her space with a kill while she has a kill and her two cubs and she acted to prevent that situation from playing out. How uh, tax is that Karula with you there or Shadow? Copy, thanks. Okay, either way, Karula's on her way back as well. It was Shadow that went back. Copy that, thank you. James Dungan, do I think that this interaction between all three of them will put a halt to Shadow's amorous activities with Tingana and will she have to go and find a new male? That's a very good point because Tingana is not going to shift from that carcass now. There's free food. He's going to do what male leopards do best, all leopards do best, which is scavenge. And he's going to steal Karuda's kill. So James? My answer is no, I don't think so. I think Karuda's going to move off and I think she's going to take her cubs with her. And it's, she's going to leave Tingana and Shadow with this particular kill. That's my suggestion as to what's going to happen here. We'll have to wait and see how the scenario plays out. I'm sorry, I do have to be on the Game Drive channel. I need to clarify something with Tex first. Bear with me one moment. We're just gonna get Okay. Here comes here comes Shadow. Or is that Karula? I've lost track now. Just hold on one moment. That's Karula, right? I'm not going crazy. Yeah, she's not happy. You can see it. Every line of her body is saying this is not exactly what she wanted for her afternoon. Shadow has already made it to the kill. Just to give you an idea of what's happening around us, Karula's stalking slowly back towards them, but Tingana is still up in the marula tree, and Shadow is at the base of it. Unfortunately, at some point, we are going to have to give up our spot in the sighting. There are lots and lots of vehicles that are now waiting to come in and join this exciting moment. Scraping her back feet. marking her territory and then we've got Tingana up in the tree oh no beautiful shame I feel sorry for her she knows she's just lost her kill she knows she's gonna have to take her, her cubs away she's not willing to go down without a fight just yet Uh, tax. I think with the Mapimpan still in the area, maybe it's best for a two vehicle lock. I'm going to pull out. Um, Jimmy, um, I don't think you can. Um, yeah, yeah, when it's done, but yeah, because you see, well, you have three humans here, so yeah, um, I don't see any um, problem issues, okay? Three more of us here. Okay, copy. Thanks, Tex. Your call. We're just having a quick discussion about the logistics of this situation because, of course, two sightings have just become one sighting. 
So obviously we have to manage carefully in terms of which vehicles are where. There is Tingana, quite contentedly. He is so disinterested in the, what would we call it, the foibles of his ladies. He couldn't care less that Karula and Shadow just had a little bit of a scrap. Not a scrap really, they didn't come to blows, but that Karula chased Shadow. He's really just far more interested in the free dinner that's come along with the ride. Shadow is down below him, if we go down a little bit. She's currently, funnily enough, marking her tear, or mark, rubbing on her cheek on the various branches around her. Cheeky girl. And Karula is furious. It's very difficult for you to hear, but she is growling away. We're just going to go forward ever so slightly so that we can watch the action unplay, but we've got to pick a good spot where we can see everything happening. Hello, girl. Do you mind if I come join you? I know life's not great right now. After all that, you poor thing. Just going very, very slowly. We've got three leopards in the sighting and possibly five. Oh, the queen is blowing spit bubbles once again. If I go there, Dave, can you sort of see her? There, if I pop us here, can you see Karula? Forward. Isn't this sighting absolutely incredible? And you can see salivating away, relatively stressed about this whole situation. Now, the reason that Karula recognizes Shadow as her daughter is I think leopards know each other, like people know each other. They know which, their do which is their daughter. Ah, uh, Shadow's going to go up the tree. Or she's thinking about going up the tree. So they do recognize each other, just like Tingana recognizes which female he's mated with, and therefore which cubs are, may well be his. Now situations like this probably actually play out more often than we think. I know that Karula has been seen watching Tingana mating with both Tandi and Kutile in her territory before. She's having a, just a jolly good sniff all around her. What an incredible scene. Five leopards, although two missing cubs. Yes, absolutely. A cat in Tampa. You've got that spot on. So I'm sorry, I've been so caught up in the chaos. I haven't properly, I haven't properly explained everything that's going on. Shadow is in Karula's territory, but only just. Karula was always just on the boundary between her west, or sort of close to the western edge of her boundary and Shadow's eastern edge. Oh, Tingana, this is a precarious spot you find yourself in. Sorry, Karula's so unimpressed, she just started growling next to me. I just wanted to make sure that she wasn't about to dash off. Cat in Tampa, yes. Shadow is in Karula's territory because Tingana brought her here. The Imperi... There you go. You can hear that deep, low rumbling coming from Karula. Isn't it peculiar? But we had that whole question about grandmothers adopting daughters' cubs, and all of a sudden Shadow came into the sighting with Tingana. It's incredible. So 
that Impala's gonna fall out of the tree. Sorry. We don't know where to look. Pick a leopard, everybody. Which one should we look at? I think we should look at Tingana about to drop this Impala out. It is... I don't even know how it's holding up there. Oh. 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 He saved it. Sort of. It's gonna go. It's gonna go. Bernie, Bernie. Bernie, Bernie for Jamie. Sorry, everybody. Just while the actions died down a little bit, I just want to take that opportunity to chat. Okay, while I just have a quick chat on the Game Drive channel, let's go across to James and a scavenging...